Hello everyone. As you can see and as you follow our YouTube channel, each week and each month we prepare some um, useful basic information about performing design and fabrication of performing machine. Today, what we want to talk about is different type of performing tooling stand. And you know us well, we are Lotus Forming located in Oshi City, China. So you can subscribe us and follow us to get more useful video in our YouTube channel. The first point we want to talk is the basic brief introduction about performing a stand. Performing a stand plays a big role in performing, which is continuous bending process. During the operation, source of metal sheet passes through a set of rolls, and the rolls are mounted on the surface forming the stands. An important point to consider when analyzing tool deflection is how the rolls are supported on the machine. Thus, knowing the different type of stands and how the rolls are mounted on them is critical to determining the machine stiffness. As you can see, we have a different type of brief introduction and performing the stand typically support rolling tools. So we can consider about different type of stands that we are mounting on reforming machines. Performing stand typically support tooling stands. The rolling tools have to be mounted on the stands so that they can work functionally overall to performing machine manufacturers. There are different performing stands working for different applications as following. Firstly, integrated tape performing stand. Secondary, the independent table forming a stand, and the third one is variations. Integrated table forming stands, wall plate table forming the stands, and integrated stands. So, firstly, we want to talk and explain more about integrated stands. As you can see in our picture, integrated stands are typically for forming machines that bend thin material less than 1.5 thickness. The forming stands are made of steel plates, welded on machine based structure, H beam, or any other welding support that we are fabricating in our factories. Besides, this type of our forming stands looks more like wall of machine therefore sometimes they are called wall plate tape depending on the material the specification the thickness of the wall plate varies from 16 millimeters to 22 millimeters please check our pictures and you can see the wall plate that we already mounted on the machine and the structures and the tooling stand are mounting between these wall plates. The fabricate steel plates have been welded on each base which blanks is left for mounting rolling tools. Our workshop that we already produced by wall plate for independent roll forming stand. Furthermore, the roll forming machine with integrated stand usually work at low speed and cost than other table stands. In case there are any troubles caught 
and need to do some adjustment on roller just to make adjustment on rollers with trouble is fine. Each pair of spandrel is carrying in the separator gear head. Each has its own splash, replicative wall, and gear train. Since the upper roll spindle must be adjustable for rolls for different diameters. It is driven through the toggle link tape gear arrangement from bottom spindle, permitting adjustment without scratch and pinch like mistress gears. A micrometer DR on each adjustment screw indicated spindle adjustment and power load. The outboard housing is removable from the spindle as a complete assembly to permit roll change. So now we're going to independent row from its stand. We'll check the different tape of the independent and what we already explained to you. As you can see, we have a different independent roll film stand. There are two different structures for independent table from stands. One is guide pillar structure and other one is the trolley structure or casting pillar. Both structures are independent tape from stands, but they work for different applications. Therefore, a roll forming machine supplier has to specify which structure they use instead of just mentioning independent tape stands. So now we're going to the first tape of independent roll forming stands. We call it as a steel pillar. The guide pillar structure works for the same application as the integrated stand does. Mostly the guide pillar stands are applied for high end roll forming lines for making metal sheets and decking. Besides, we can see such a structure on some high precision or forming line as well. Please take a look at our Pudo shutter or forming machine that we're using a steel plow independent stand. However, different from integrated stands, the sides and the cows bar mounting on the glide pair stands are always electroplated with creative chrome. As a result, the roll former with guide pillar stand look always more beautiful and cost higher than integrated stand roll forms. Secondary one, we call it casting pillar or traditional tree structure. Casting pillar, speaking of heavy duty roll forming machine, supplier will always go to casting pillar design. This design looks like the traditional tree gate, which is quite common in East Asia. The tree gate design stands work well for heavy duty roll forms. The steel frame of the tourist stand usually reach 30 mm to 70 mm thickness, highly ensure they are forming round stable. Let's check some of our video and already produced machine in our Lotus workshop. As you can see, this video is for our guard rail or forming machines. Quite heavy duty, the thickness of material is up to the 5 mm. You can check the stands. A few roll forming machine manufacturer apply casting pillar design because this design really costs a lot. Lotus has been experienced in casting pillar design stands for many machines like Gardner roll former, Strat Channel, 
elevator guide rail, door frame, C post beam, and any heavy duty performing machine. We are really professional on casting plot design. Now we're going to various type of roll forming stand. The roll stand mentioned here are the standard mill with the shaft supported on both sides. The cantilever mill where the shaft is only supported on one side, the double high mill with two levels of ropes, and the side by side mill with two set of rolls mounted on the same shaft. Here, as you can see, standard mules, cantilever mules, double high mules and side by side mules. Now firstly we're going to explain about standard mules. The standard mules of our forming stand has the shaft supported on both sides. On the drive shaft side the shaft is coupled to the motor that drives the rolls. On the operator side, the stand which supported on the shaft is removable in order to enable tool changing. This is most common type of stand through forming materials. As you can see, one side is drive by motor, gearbox or chain, and one side can change the rollers. Let's check all. Cassette tape performing machine that we use standard mules and as you can see one side is really easy to remove one side is connected with drives motor and this machine is going to connect it with the gearbox the second tape is cantilever mills cantilever mills have the shaft supporting on only one side the drive side these are simple and low cost design which have been used for form simple and now sanction. The absence of an operator side stand make tool change faster. Thus, enhancing the productivity such a machine design. The application of this construction solution depends on the deflection analysis of the shaft during forming. As the shaft is only supported on the drive side, it behaves as a cantilever beam during forming. And the total deflection is four times higher than deflection on the standard mill design. So now we're going to double high mills. This kind of mill is similar in construction to the standard mill but maximize the available space by having two types of stands, one higher and one lower. This allows the factory with limited space to have two types of profile in production on the same machine. The profile must be produced one at a time, not in the same time. Thus, the change over time between two profiles is short. However, the installation of side rolls is hard due to the lack of available space, and the inspection of forming condition is not easy. This kind of mules exhibit similar fiction characteristics to the standard roll forming mill. Please pay attention to the double high mills that it mounting two layer of the tooling stand on that and now testing the up layer of the tooling stand okay now we're going to the final part and the last tip of tuning stand is side by side mills. These consist of standard mills with a longer shaft, which can accommodate two or even three set of rolls. 
This reduces tool change over time by enabling two profiles to be produced in the same machine, although not at the same time. This is in a way similar to the double high mills, however, the longer shaft and the number of the rolls on each shaft lead to problems in terms of machine deflection. The weight of the rolls is more significant, leading to an initial downward displacement, which makes setting the roll gap on the top roll sets harder. Then, when forming is occurring, forming force lead a higher displacement due to a lower assembly stiffness. So please check and pay attention to some of our machine that we are fabricated in our Lotus manufacturer and it's double side or side by side mills. As you can see, it has a two different profile in one machine, in one tooling stand and the roller is much more heavier than that. Be addition to two different profiles on the same shaft and I hope today you have enjoyed our video for any question for any inquiry feel free to contact us and if you subscribe us you can get more video from our channel and we will try our best to support you better and better basic information for our farming machine thanks See you next time. Bye.